we have left Kelowna Ridge and we are on the shuttle bus. The city of LJ is going to take us around, show us some places, take us downtown so we can investigate a little bit. We're going to lunch. Uh, I think we may have a winery, some solder station, different things going on. So come along. We enjoy the city of LJ, Georgia. Stop number one, we are in downtown L. J. Georgia. We're gonna go roam around the old downtown, see what all is down here, and check it out. I leave what's left of last night behind On this floor we have a Civil War room, we have a veterans room, and two rooms back in the back that were used as bedrooms back in the day. No substantial battles fought in this county, but troops came through here on the way to the Battle of Atlanta, so it was a Civil War town. No battles were fought here, but the soldiers came through all the time. So we have a small heritage museum. So he was explaining to us is this photo back here behind us was there was a battle that was supposed to be fought and the Confederate troops wanted to be baptized prior to the battle. So they were being baptized, they had the musicians in playing the songs, and as they were being baptized, as you can see in the picture here, the Union troops came up behind them. They realized what was going on and they joined in and those shots were fired during this. It goes to show you the power of faith and the Christian value. Alright, so this is the Tabor House Museum here in Ella J. You definitely want to visit this place it is free to go through they do take donations but they've got a little bit of everything in here they've got a native american section they've got the civil war section a lot of cool stories they've got the military section and they've actually got guides that actually will lead you through like this guy was and tell you about the place so it's not just you're on your own so when you're in ella j here in gilmer county make sure you come through because you will learn so much history one-on-one -on -one in this museum let's move on to the next back spot. to the bus we go Moving on for lunch. <laughs> All right, it is lunch time. We are at RNA Orchards here in Ella J, Georgia. We're going to go in and get us some lunch. We're going to try out this, I guess, some apple cider or whatever. We'll figure this out, but it really looks like an awesome little place. Let's go. All right, so we got lunch. I got barbecue sandwich and some corn nuggets. He's got his hamburger over here like I always get and tater tots. She's not eating, I guess. She's really eating, it's just not here yet. All right, absolutely amazing. You have all of the fresh fruit around. I mean, peaches, apples, all kind of different stuff here. Fresh corn, watermelons, jams, jellies, RNA orchards right here in LJ. Stop by, check them out, grab some lunch, grab some fresh fruit. We're gonna go take some cider. All right, the next stop on our trip here is at the Reese Cider Company here in Ella J, Georgia. We are going to go in and check out the ciders, see how all of this works. You know, even though Georgia is the peach state, this is the apple capital area. So apples galore. Let's go check this place out. say 12 ciders one wine that being said on there you can choose four and put it on a flight which is a tasting which is what we typically would recommend considering if you have not been here before it's like the easiest thing to do if you want we do also have non-alcoholic slushies and hard cider slushies a 
to see a bunch of kiddos around so we have other options too. <laughs> This is what a whole bunch of kids are enjoying the lemonade slushies is like. The next stop on our list here, we are at the Mountain Valley Farm Store here in LJ, Georgia. They have different ice creams inside and meats. Everything is locally sourced, locally raised. Over here, they have all the animals. They have cows, bunnies, goats, you name it. They're all over. Check out this billy goat up here on the top. Let's go look at these things. Mr. Goat, excuse me. Hey, excuse me. I don't think he wants to talk to me. He's too busy eating. He is soft though. Really cool. Check out the babies. Seriously, tell her. She's not allowed to have the bunny. I want the bunny. Tell her, no bunny. No, no bunny. Right, now let's go in here to the farm store, see what they got, check out the ice cream and some air conditioning. So the ice cream here is made for them up in Asheville, North Carolina. And they have all kind of different varieties. They have maple bacon ice cream and all kind of different stuff in there. You guys know me, I'm a creature, I have it. So you know, when I saw strawberry cheesecake, that means that's what had to happen. So we're gonna get in this strawberry cheesecake here and we're gonna see what it is. All right, oh, I dropped my spoon. Good. 10 second rule, right? I'm gonna get into this. Say that. Y'all know you want some, right? Here. <laughs> you know, Kylie teased you over Dodge City. I'll tease you right here. He's gonna have. It's all right. This is amazing. I'm gonna leave y'all this. And it's the venue in the vine. So it's specifically designed around weddings, but you're gonna see that it can accommodate many things. We've had Taylor Hickson concert here. We've had several charity events here that have been phenomenal. Of course, we have a lot of community events like Chamber of Commerce events, you know, those types of things as well. We'll go ahead and head in now and take a look. This is made from a Tremonet grid. All right, please see come and help yourself. Can't get through anymore. Too bad. We could have races. That would be Good. fun. We, we could do vine races with one person here and one person there, and then they go. Yeah. So a lot of your uh, wine tasters and your sommeliers, today's world and winemakers are women. Women are rising very fast in the industry. Just naturally more gifted. Can, can taste things, can notice things that, that men just do not catch. Behind you, you have Hungarian oak wood barrels. Okay, some of you said you smelled the oak, and that's from Hungary. We get those every single year, and the wine will be in there for two years 
before it goes into a bottle. Uh, to the right side, we have a totally different type of barrel. What kind of barrel do y'all think that is? A whiskey. That's correct. It is a whiskey barrel. So up in Tennessee, they have a place called Jack Daniels. Up, We go up there and grab barrels. And we bring their empty barrels that they just emptied down to Georgia and we put our wine in there. Now, we put the wine in there typically after it's been in here for two years. And then it'll go in there for 30 to 60 days to give it a little different character, a little different taste. And certain red wines work really well with the whiskey barrels and others don't. It's a newer concept that we've started dabbling with. A lot of wineries in North Georgia have recently. Of course, we have such history with whiskey and bourbon that it kind of... This is probably the best representation of it because it's a blend of five different whites. So it depends on if you like it or not. That's what I'll try.